welcome to Mariposa Coffee Company. We're a small coffee roastery just outside Yosemite in Northern California. I like to bring you these videos as ways to help inspire you to play with your daily coffee routine. Basically, I want an excuse to play with my coffee routine. Hopefully you guys can get something out of it too. Today we're gonna to be talking about black coffee, not just black coffee, jet black coffee. Okay, I know that I'm almost two years late to the goth coffee train. But the reason that I want to do a video on this is because one, I just recently discovered this trend on Pinterest, but two, I honestly found the videos online about it like deeply unsatisfying. So one, I wanted to know really what it tasted like, two, how do I make it, and three, are they actually making jet black coffee just with charcoal because I am suspicious. Four, I'm actually gonna have a bonus thing, spoiler alert, I needed to try something else. First, I have to give the same disclaimer that everybody gives. Don't consume charcoal in any way if you're on medication. So first, I purchased some activated charcoal made of coconut shells because I heard that was like the best kind to consume. Second, took some charcoal, mixed it in with some water. So you would have thought that it would have just like mixed in, you know, would have dissolved like other powders do. Question, does charcoal dissolve in water? Ah. <laughs> Mixing it in and it's, ooh, really super gritty and gross. It's not even like mud, it's like sand, like really fine sand. So not appealing. I decided to mix it with some cashew milk, boil it on the stove, never got any decent results. And on top of that, it still didn't really turn that black. If I really wanted it to be like jet black, it is gross, it's a sludge, like nobody want, what? So I gave it a few more tries. Well, I tried adding the charcoal and the milk and then steaming it in the espresso machine. I tried boiling it for a really long time. I tried a lot of different concentrations and nothing really gave me decent results. So my second attempt was using black tahini. This is super cool. I did not find very much about this online at all. I added some into my carafe with my cashew milk, steamed it up, and I was actually pretty impressed. It was not a super dark color. You can see that it's actually really similar to the results I got trying to do the charcoal latte. But I really actually liked it. It was creamy and it had this really interesting like smoky nutty flavor. It was also really good on its own, but this is a coffee channel so I can't really say that. All that to say, it still wasn't jet black. So I had to try a few more things. Third method, black cocoa. Hovered my spoon over the jar and realized this is also just really dark brown. So that's cool, but that's really not what I was going for and really not all that unique or special because then it really did just taste like a mocha too. And my final attempt, I did just whip out some food coloring. I'm personally just not a fan of food coloring, but that's a different story. Picked up these natural food coloring. They're made of fruits and vegetables, dumped it into this massive concoction that I had, and it really did nothing. <laughs> my conclusions. So many, many, many cups of really sludgy, charcoaly things, I just decided, you know what? I think I've reached my limit. I'm sure that there are other things I could have done, like I could have tried other types of charcoal. I'm okay. I'm not really down with the whole charcoal latte thing for a couple different reasons. One, I just didn't really like it. Two, way not worth. Three, I just don't totally consign to like the health benefits of it. And four, slightly irks me that all of these companies are really like charcoal latte, jet black latte made with charcoal, it's healthy, da da da. And really you know that it's like gotta be half a teaspoon of charcoal and then just like a buttload of food dye. You know, eh, I feel like I feel like I was lied to, to be honest. So 100% the sesame latte gets my vote. You can actually get like a creamy, nice, delicious latte that has like a really unique flavor. You can also add flavorings to it. I actually put raspberry extract in one. If you've tried one of these things before, put it down in the comments. I really want to know. I want the deets. Also, let me know if you try a tahini latte. Let me know if you have any other ideas of how to accomplish a black latte and no gel food coloring. It's not enough. And as always, if you do try any of these drinks, please do enjoy.